Hello, long time no see, and this is a, a real celebration to meet uh, for this amazing uh, Rave New Year for 2018 that begins very soon, the 22nd of January, um, very early in the morning GMT time. And yes, we are going to <laughs> have fun on the Wheel of Fortune again. Um, I just want to share something about these cycles. Um, for the first time, I really uh, experience strongly my, um, my um, solar return exactly in the beginning. I mean, at the beginning, when, when my design uh, solar return happened, I already felt things that when I checked my solar return, I just saw them there. And it was, I think it has to do with my being um, really at, at the closure, at the ending of uh, my seventh year uh, soon. <laughs> soon it will be the end of this uh, seven year, first seven year cycle of deconditioning. And because I'm very, uh, I leave my design and I'm engaged strongly in experiencing things, um, I, I finally started to really get this thing of cycles in a very experiential way. Uh, I could see I could see the, my Chiron return. I could see um, the, the the Rave New Years. I, I can see the the yearly the yearly imprint, but it was it was not that clear what's happening. And for now, I have this new vision, a new understanding that I want to share with you before we begin this uh, presentation. Is really that I I understand now that everything that, that the transit bring to us is for us to, um, to um, I forgot the word, <laughs> um, transmute to, um, yeah, I forgot the, 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 the exact word, it will come later. Um, and it's very important because we, we go through very, deep experiences and sometimes they are filled with pain and when they are filled with pain and sorrow and emotions we we have the tendency to really be sucked into the experience and our weakness might um, disappear for a short or long time but the thing is to remember that all these um, imprints that we have are part of our journey we can't not go through these things we can't not go through our saturn return uranus opposition chiron return um solar returns um, uh, um, um interactions with people which are also um, energies that are very very present in our lives and these the all these things of uh, ways or uh, aspects of conditionings are very very uh, crucial they are they are part of our journey we need them we, we came here to experience them and if we develop our witnessing um, point of view and if we learn more and more to detach uh, to be detached but not in a way that we're not experiencing but the detachment is um, I think in in the um, um, for, I forget the English word in, in the way that we see things the way that we give the, the um, meaning to things we don't need to, to, to give the meaning to, to uh, be attached to this mental story we can just experience and go through it and see what this experience brings and it's interesting because in this year we have two gates out of the four human experiential way gates. So it's about experiencing and seeing what's going to come out after this experience. Where are we going to be 
what did we gain to our um, to tool case um, from these experiences? And how do we see ourselves? Um, how do we see life differently? And all these transits come for this uh, purpose. This is life. Transits equals life. And they come in cycles, in our private cycles, in the yearly cycles, and of course, the daily transits. Everything, everything is a cycle. A day is a cycle too. So, um, it's, it's really very strong um, to get this insight, to understand that this is all for us because we are part of the program. We are carrying this wheel and the wheel carries us and it's one. We are one with this wheel of fortune and the dance that we dance with it is our life. So we have a year that is very 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 different from the the year that we just uh, are going to finish and for people that are new to human design and want to understand why the year begins when gate 41 um, the sun enters the gate 41 i have deep explanations about this in the former um new year raves that i did videos that i did and you can just go and look um, at the dates of uh, last year's New, Year, New, Rave Year or New Year's Rave or the, the year before, and you can find the explanation. I'm not going to get into this at all in this video. Um, we are going to uh, smell and try, try to smell and feel the essence of this new year. And of course, uh, we will um, talk... <laughs> A few words about the last year, because these two years are so different. Last year, we have the global conditioning pattern of the channel of transformation. This is uh, the gate of the Mary Maiden, the 54th gate, the gate of ambition, combined with the um, 32nd gate, the gate of duration. And uh, this channel of transformation is a tribal channel, and it was a global conditioning uh, pattern that drove us all <laughs> with pure um, um, boiling ambition to, to transform um, materially and spiritually both ways. And uh, not only that, but the profile of the year was a 3-5, so it was very, very transformative through trial and error, through universalization, through practicality, through projections. It all was there i felt it i i really when i look at it now i just i saw it the whole year i felt it all the time so it was very very interesting and also people around me felt this energy and this year is so so different <laughs> in everything and the story that comes out of this year is very tricky i i'm waiting to see how these will um display itself in my life, in, in people's, uh, in my people that are around me in their lives. And of course, people that watch news and know about politics, they would, I will be very happy uh, when, when things uh, happen and people will um, invite me to watch because I never do that <laughs> voluntarily. <laughs> I have this <laughs> bigotry that we're going to talk about. I'm a second line. So I'm, I'm not listening to everything, just really really my personal view wants to listen but if great things happened i will hear from you and from my friends uh, because this channel of leadership the channel of the alpha leadership for good or, or bad is our global conditioning pattern for this year but in a very very interesting way so let's start revealing what's going to happen <laughs> for us in this amazing new year. So first of all, I'm creating the profile and we have a very interesting profile for this year. This is going to be the transpersonal collective hermit. <laughs> we have, you know that I don't use the sun and the earth lines in my cal calculation because they are always at the first line. So there's no um, way of 
using them in the profile. But I look at the second line. We have four second lines. That um, two of them are part of the definition, and this is very, very strong because these are two roll gates that are the nodes of the moon. So it's so, so, so strong and so dense because roll gates, we have actually we have three roll gates in the G center that are defined, that are a global conditioning pattern. They are active all the time because of the definition of the alpha, the 31. Uh, the gate of influence and the gate of the role of the self, the gate of the army. So this is a very, very unique way to, to look at our year. We have this second line, which is the hermit. And on the other hand, we have five transpersonal lines. And that means that this is, and, and, and a lot of collective and the, 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 um, the um, definition is most of it collective the channel is collective and we have the gate, 13th gate and, and more collective gates uh, in the, um, we, we would touch them so this is a very interesting thing to see that the leadership is kind of collective hermit but it also has the activations in the raven year uh, chart has a lot of um, um, Transpersonality. So it's it's interesting. It's interesting, and we will um, gather all the details and see the big picture. Interesting and very very hilarious picture of our very very uh, deaf individual hermit that is thrown into uh, democracy, <laughs> democracy leadership. I mean, this is really interesting. Very very interesting. Let's try to um, gather the details. So our definition is made out of the gate of influence that combines with the role of the self, and this is the channel of the alpha. We have uh, defined uh, working, active, the fellowship of men, the gate of lis the listener, the 13th gate, and of course we have the behavior of the self, Three, we have three roll gates. Again, this is really shocking. And this is the gate of the role model, the line of the role model with the alpha. Very, very interesting. Uh, the whole combination is really interesting. It's influence, it's the army, it's the listener, and it's love of life or love of the self and the behavior of the self. Let's dive into it. So the alpha is a very interesting alpha. <laughs> of course, we have the, the first line in detriment, yes, of the influence uh, uh, gate, 31 gate, the unnatural expression of leadership. And we have connotations to this line. You know what I'm talking about. But it's interesting because Actually, when we say the unnatural expression of leadership, we, we don't really know if it's bad. It's just unnatural expression of leadership. Very, very interesting. And this is combined to the, the north node of the moon, um, the Democrat, the ability to lead by serving the will of the majority. But look at that. Interesting. Um, when connected, this line specifically, yes, when, when connected through the alpha channel to gate 31, influence the potential for widespread and revolutionary effect on society, the capacity of the self to lead when chosen. Really interesting. Really interesting. The detriment is the capacity of the self once chosen to feel superior to those who chose them. That, by the way, is not a contradiction to the, to the exaltment. So there is something here about um, influence, about revolu revolutionary effect on society. Interesting, very, very interesting. And um, if we go on and look um, at gate 13, yes, bigotry. <laughs> I, I just love this line. You know that the roll gates give their um, essence of the lines of the six line to the six profile. So each each second line profile 
can resonate with what I'm talking about now. So this is the role of the self, the role of opening, yes, the, the way we are open to the other, the way we listen, the way we take in the other. And the second line, bigotry, <laughs> a role of openness through tolerance or a role of openness so narrow that there is, there is practically no one worth listening to. And this is so second line-ish. <laughs> So we have a leader that can influence in a very strong way, but doesn't really want to listen. There's not, not a lot of tolerance there. Interesting. And then we see the role model, the behavior of the self, the sixth line is the role model. And we have this in detriment, the hypocrite. Do as I say, not as I do. Behavior, behavior restricted to words rather than actions. This is interesting when we look at it. The combination, this, this combination of activations is really, really weird. I mean, as a Rave New Year um, imprint, interesting. And we know, yes, if we, if we look at the big picture, we know that the cross of planning is coming to an end and all this society, community, collective stuff is really, really shaking. And here we have a very strong uh, collective logic channel, the channel of leadership. But it is with bigotry, it is second line, and it is unnatural um, expression of leadership, and it is the hypocrite. Oh my God, what are we going to see around us? And with what lessons are we going to have? We, we will need to transcend this personally. We, we need to take it and go through this, not to fall into these places. And on the other hand, if we look at the homogenized world, we will see this kind of leadership everywhere. And, and, and I'm just waiting to see how this will display itself. Now we get into the other details, which are, um, they are there and they will influence, I don't know how, we, we will get the big picture when, when things begin to, co to, to uh, come to, uh, when things begin to display themselves. But also we need to remember that each, each of, and every one of us has uh, their own um, act, um, um, receptors and these activations might combine to these receptors. So it's differently, it, it, it displays itself differently in our lives when it is pushing our private buttons, yes? So interesting to see. Now the moon is the drive, the, the drive behind things. And we have a very interesting uh, drive. I made a mistake here and I, I saw it when I recorded the Hebrew uh, version, but I didn't, want to, uh, I didn't want to correct it because it's interesting. I wrote the inevitable survival of light and it's not, it, it has to be of right, <laughs> of what is right. But I liked it this way and I will explain in a minute. This is the gate of crisis, the darkening of the light in the solar plexus. And we can also see that... Um, Venus activates the fuel for this stream of desire, the human experiential way, not only the sun, but I'm looking at what we have in our year and we have Venus in the 41st um, gate in the fourth line, the gate of, uh, the, the, the gate of fantasy, uh, the gate of uh, um, decrease. We will, we will come to it, but we see that there is something going on with this human experiential way uh, as opposed to this very logical channel of the alpha. Interesting. So this drive in the darkening of the light, in the gate of crisis, this drive is in the sixth line that is called justice. And because I have this line exactly in my Chiron return, and I started feeling it deeply the last year, um, I can understand why I made this mistake. <laughs> so I left the mistake there in order to share with you that really what happens in this um, sixth line is that 
in the end, we see the light, the light in the end of the tunnel, yes? So um, these two sides of the line is the, the correctness of crisis when it arises out of pure feelings. Oh my God, I could feel that and I still do. And the other one, the other side is the sorrow or cynicism that comes with seeing that despite the correctness of the feeling, there is always crisis. And I, I felt this too. So this is very interesting. And that's why I wrote The Inevitable Survival of Light, because this crisis, this emotional crisis, is part of the human experiential way. And in order to transcend, in order to go through an experience and really grow out of it and, and, and transcend our lessons into, into awareness, there will be a crisis always and and it is okay it is it is a just a just way to go through the human experiential way so we have that very emotional and mysterious uh drive behind this very logical um definition interesting let's continue uh mercury What's, what's need to be communicated. We are talking about secret relationship, you know, the gate, the, we, we talked so much about this gate. So, you know, we know this gate, it's the ambition, the marrying maiden, Pluto in, the, um, in this amazing fifth line and Mercury exalted in influence through secret relationship. Again, this is the marrying maiden, the concubine that needs to be um, uh, um, recognized by the correct allies in order to go up the ladder again, another way or, or another aspect that connects to role models, people in, in um, um, rulership um, places and, and stuff. I mean, I see it. I don't know if you see it, but I see the picture begins to grow and we are going to communicate or the program wants us to communicate about the influence in secret relationship <laughs> and when we are talking about hypocrite uh, role models then secret relationship is something in there uh, very very interesting and of course the Mary maiden has a lot to do with ambition and trying to climb up to the ladder and touch the leadership so interesting um and here we we come to venus that sits in the the gate of uh, fantasy contraction which is the fuel to the human experiential way to the to the stream of desire but this is this gate the fourth gate is in detriment the energy the the the, um, the line the line the fourth line sorry is called correction and the detriment is the energy which fuels holding on to feelings rather than adapt. Now, it's interesting because we are going to see this attachment stuff comes in again and again in this New Year story. Interesting. But of course, that when you're attached and, you're, and you have a fantasy and you don't let go, there will be a crisis in the end. <laughs> So it's interesting that we have this uh, human experiential way that, that is crawling and, 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 and arises our desire besides this very hermit uh, collective uh, leadership. Interesting, interesting to see this. Now, we saw that we don't, we actually have only one third line this year, which is really good because we had a three, five, year before just ending today but the the program has its sense of humor so it gives us only one but in mars <laughs> so we have this energy to fuel direction yes the 14th gate possession in great measure the wagon wow what a gate and we have a defined g center that is about direction so the 14th gate is the energy to fuel this direction and this is the the mars energy that is un um not really mature and very transformative 
and we have the gate, um, the gate of the, the line of service. Um, and it's interesting because it's the key to power lies in selfless contribution to others or the power of, selfish, of selfishness to fuel greed. Now, this again has to do with all kinds of aspects of leadership. Very interesting if we talk about this uh, hypocrite role model. So the, uh, the greed is just another aspect that can and might show itself in these power skills, in this energy to fuel direction. We, will this be a direction of contribut contribution to others or will it be a direction of greed? Interesting. Jupiter, another second line, the gate of breakthrough, the gate of insight in the Ajna Center. And this is um, the, the line of dedication. Unique mental habits and thoughts processes which promote insight or the urge for expression that will abandon its normal processes when an opportunity arises. Again, we see how that comes and fills in in this leadership uh, and, and, and hypocrisy um, picture. Interesting. And also crisis. I mean, it, it's all about taking this to, to um, a, di a direction of contribution to the whole or taking this to being very selfish and very intolerant and, and, and hypocrite. It, it's, it, this is the picture, actually. Wow. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite gates and also favorite planets in the combination. And I feel it because I have in my notes the, 50, the 53rd gate, the gate of um, beginnings. And this is ending cycles. And since Uranus is there, I'm having, I'm, I'm just having a real, real journey of, of ending cycles of um, real growth through maturation. Wow. And this is really, this is a gate that is very present in my life, not only through transits. It's really one of, one of the gates for me. And yes, this is going to be a year of ending cycles because we can't really take ourselves to the next level without knowing how to end cycles correctly and without doing it. And we also, this is the format gate of the human experiential way. So, so yes, we have this logical leadership with hypo hypocrisy and with um, all this, but we all, and, 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 and um, uh, I forgot the word, well, never mind, arrogance, yes. But we also have the opportunity to grow through cycles. And also, if I look at it uh, globally or in our lives, of course, and this is also a very interesting fifth line, self-actualization, growth that is self-fulfilling and naturally leads to influence. Again, fifth line in the exaltment could lead to a good leadership. On the other hand, inner growth that empowers reclusiveness. So this is the hermit that grows and keeps all the insights and uh, lessons of growth to himself. Interesting. And, uh, of course, we can't finish this picture without looking at the mental realm. And here we have, of course, Neptune still in the gate of doubt. And this is another second line. This gate, this line is structuring, called structuring. The pressure to share one's doubt with others while maintaining control, again, the leader, or doubt in achievement that can lead to suspicion of others. Again, this is the, the detrimental side of this uh, logical uh, leader. Very, very interesting when we look at it. And of course, um, we can't have a real fun without irrelevant uh, logic questions. <laughs> So we are going to have this also, and of course, all the people with the, with the fourth gate uh, in an open ajna or in an, with an open head. It's going to be interesting, the combination, because 
he can't really, um, he can't um, avoid these um, mental pressures. And we have, we have a year with mental pressures and with um, root pressures. We have a very, very interesting year. If you look at it, if you try to, what I invite you to do, yes, is to, to first of all, look how that connects your individual activations, but also to start and feel the essence of this energy out there when we begin the cycle in, in a few hours, in a, day, a day and a, a few hours. So because... Um, when I look back at the year before, it was the exact picture, the exact definition, the, the exact profile. It, it was totally alive in my life with all the other transits as I described in the beginning. And I'm just looking forward to see how this very, very tricky and interesting and unique um, global conditioning pattern and activations will show in my life and in the world. And yes, we are going to a new journey, like the fool here. <laughs> uh, the fool here is very, um, is really a hermit. It's, you see that he is concentrated in his business. He doesn't care about anything else. He does look, look like an individual leader because he knows where he's going and he keeps very tight to himself, his strategy, his decision-making process, inner authority. And no doubt about this, that he, this creature is sleep, sleeps alone. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look like somebody who wants or need any company. And of course, he doesn't want to be influenced. We know the second line doesn't like to be influenced. And of course, not at night. So um, when this um, hermit, hermit, full hermit, begins this um, yearly cycle, um, he doesn't know what, what he's going, he doesn't know what to expect. Yes, it's the cross of the unexpected uh, begins the year, but holding this uh, holy trinity of tools, there will be, there will be an, an interesting journey, but a correct one for this one. Now, I invite you to take this uh, foolish <laughs> way of looking at life and really be um, very strong in your strategy, have very strong in your inner authority or decision-making process, and of course, of course, of course, sleep alone. And all these cycles, transits, planets, neutrinos, everything will be just a playground for us but because we will have our inner anchor. I thank you for being here and listening. Uh, it was a pleasure, and I'm going to see you soon, I hope a lot uh, closer than next Brave New Year. See you. Bye-bye.